Hey everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to talk about a comparison between two Linux distros. One is Pop OS and the other one is Ubuntu. We're going to talk about which one is better Linux distro and for that, we're going to do a brief comparison. My name is Talha and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really, really fast. Let's get started. Pop OS and Ubuntu both are Linux based distributions and each of them has their pros and cons. Well, all of us we have been thinking that Pop OS is better than or Ubuntu is better than Pop OS. The thing is that there are a lot of similarities and dissimilarities in both. So it is very difficult to decide which is better and which one we should not be using. Ubuntu is an old player as it has very rich history and it still is the preferred distribution for new users. On the other hand, Pop OS is only around like from last four years. But in this time, Pop OS has made a name for itself. Do not worry, in today's video, we'll clear all your doubts. We are going to do a brief and complete comparison about both of them. If we talk about Pop OS, it has evolved a lot since its first release, which was 17.10. And we should test both of them to get our answer. So for that purpose, we will compare the two distributions against some of the key areas to have a better understanding and reference point to choose between the two. Let's talk about background for both. Pop OS was developed by System76 and it is relatively new as compared to Ubuntu. It was first launched in 2017. It is based on Ubuntu and has a lot of similarities as its ancestor. Let's talk about Ubuntu. Ubuntu was developed by Canonical and it has been in use since 2004. Ubuntu is based on Debian Linux. Ubuntu has been used by a lot of people, companies, institutions, and it is a one of the most popular Linux distribution on the planet. Now, let's talk about the similarities between both of them. Both Ubuntu and Pop OS belong to the same family, which is Debian. That is why they have a lot of similarities in them and they act very similar. For example, they both use apt package manager in the command line to update or install new software. Let's do a comparison of both Ubuntu and Pop OS. If we talk about the size, then Pop OS has a size of around 2.1 gigabytes and the size of Ubuntu is around 2.7 gigabytes, which means that Ubuntu is 600 MBs greater than Pop OS in size. Pop OS has limited number of pre-installed apps and that is why the size of Pop OS is less than Ubuntu. Second comparison is about if we talk about Ubuntu, then in Ubuntu we do not have a lot of support for gaming as compared to Pop OS. In Pop OS, we have NVIDIA's as pre-installed and it has support of Steam Engine. So the people who are really gamers and they really like the game, Pop OS is preferred for them in comparison to Ubuntu. Comparison number three. If we talk about the bit processor, then Ubuntu and Pop OS both have a 64-bit processor and for desktop environment, they both use 3.36 genome. Comparison number four. They both have little but different layout of the desktop. As in Ubuntu, we have some applications pinned on the desktop, while if we talk about Pop OS, there are no applications pinned on the desktop, and for that, we have a button or label which we need to use to open the apps. Comparison number five, Pop OS comes with a lightweight installer. By default, it only offers options to select language, keyboard input methods, create custom partitions via gported app and install the OS on a hard drive. New user creation and other first time options are available after a user boots the OS for the first time. This seems very similar to 
what Windows does. On the other hand, if we talk about Ubuntu, Ubuntu allows users to configure everything in the installer itself so that they can straight away start using the OS right from the first boot. If we talk about the comparison number 6, then one of the major plus point of Ubuntu is that we can rearrange the size of applications in Ubuntu with one click. For example, if we want to minimize an application, we just need to click on minimize button. If we talk about Pop OS, then in Pop OS, we do not have the option to minimize an application. And for that purpose, we have to right click on the upper bar of the application and then we click on minimize. Comparison number seven. If we talk about Ubuntu, then Ubuntu's audience is almost everyone. Means power user, businessman, a novice, anyone can use it as it is compatible with every type of user and need. Ubuntu has two separate versions, one for the clients and one for the servers. If this does not satisfy everyone, then we do have flavors in Ubuntu which come with different desktop environments. If we talk about Pop OS, that is not the case with Pop OS as the official website of System76 explains that that Pop OS is focused towards the STEM, which means that science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But it does not mean that Pop OS is not user friendly. After all, it inherits from Ubuntu directly. Comparison number eight. In Ubuntu, we do not have the option of stacking the apps, which means that we cannot have more than one app visible on screen adjusted in the parallel. In case of Pop OS, we have tiling options which adjust the apps on the screen and it is auto adjustable as we open up a new application and we can use or visualize the apps at the same time. Comparison number 9. In Ubuntu, we do not have the ability to use any super key feature. In Pop OS, we have the option and ability to open the apps using the shortcuts. For example, if we want to open an application, we just simply have to hit super plus backslash key and write the name of the application to open it. If we talk about comparison number 10, as far as we talk about pre-installed apps, in Ubuntu, we have a lot of pre-installed apps. While in Pop OS, we do not have a lot of apps which are pre-installed. And the reason behind that is Pop OS allows the user to make their own system by installing their needed applications. If we talk about comparison number 11, as we are talking about app installation in Ubuntu, we have Ubuntu Software Center. I can go to the Software Center and I can install as many apps as I like. In Pop OS, we have Pop Shop to install the apps and we have two choices to choose from while installing the apps. One is .deb and other one is flatpak. Comparison number 12. If we talk about the requirements which are needed to download each system, Ubuntu needs 4 gigabytes of system memory, 25 gigabytes of free hard device space, and a portable medium for installing the operating system. In Pop OS, however, we need 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, and a 64-bit processor. Comparison number 13. In Ubuntu, we do not have do not disturb functionality. While in Pop OS, we do have the do not disturb functionality, which will mute all other notifications for the user. It can be found in date and calendar section. Comparison number 14. In Ubuntu, we have a lot of community support available to us. For example, we have Ubuntu forums, we have Ubuntu Wiki, and we also have Ask Ubuntu, which is the most popular. And in case of Pop OS, we do not have that much support. Yes, there is support available, but community for Pop OS is not yet matured. 
Comparison number 15. In Ubuntu, we have three appearance modes such as light, dark, and standard. And in case of Pop OS, we have two themes to choose from. One is dark and the other one is light. Comparison number 16. Ubuntu is not hardware centric, which means that it is evergreen distribution. If we talk about Pop OS, it is a distribution which is tailored for System76 hardware. The System76 is an American company which manufactures different products like servers, notebooks, and desktop system, etc. Along with that, their hardware only supports some of the open source operating system. Pop OS is one of them which basically is supported by System76 company itself. Comparison number 17. In Ubuntu, we have the dock on the left side on the screen and it stays there as long as we do not change the settings. To change it, go to the display settings and here you will have the option for appearance. And in appearance, we have dock which is right here. Now, from here, we can change the dock settings. We can set it to the bottom of the screen or keep it on the left. Here, one thing which is very good, we can make the dock float. In case of Pop OS, we do not have this functionality available. Our dock is hidden by default and if we want to go to the menus, we have to click on the activities button and then we will be able to see the menus. Comparison number 18. In Ubuntu, we have adware, which means that the advertisers pay to have their links included. For example, the links to Amazon, they are installed by default in the docs. If we talk about Pop OS, then we do not have adwares in Pop OS. So the question is, which distribution to choose after all this detailing and deep examination? The best approach to answer that question is to use both of them personally because both of them belong to same ancestors. Both have a lot of similarity and they do have dissimilarity as well. So the best approach is to use both of them and then use it as per your need. For example, if you are a gaming centric person, you really like gaming, then Pop OS is best for you. If you are new to the Linux based operating system and you do not want any trouble or hard things, then Ubuntu will be a good option to choose for you. For the professional work like scientific work, engineering work, etc., Pop OS is the best choice for you as they call. Pop OS STEM. Ubuntu and Pop OS both are good for software development, so for that purpose, you can select and choose any of them. Ubuntu is more of a business and commercial distribution, so if your area of work is around that, then you must go for Ubuntu. If I were to conclude this discussion, then I can say that Ubuntu and Pop OS both are good to use as they both have same ancestors which is like Debian, right? Both of them have multiple similarities which means that you can use both of them and they also have some dissimilarities. It's only about the way they work means that we can do same work in both distributions but we may have to follow a different path. So it's all about your liking and needs which will dictate your decision about which distribution to choose between these two. So that's it from this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos to help you advance your IT career.